face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to an episode of Who Was Really Better? And yeah, welcome to actually our 15th episode of this. Can't believe this series is going on for this long, but yeah, that's this is really cool that this is. That you guys support this if anything and quite frankly i'm very happy that you guys are because it's very fun to just look upon these pokemon and uh well this week is a bit of a treat being latias versus latios the two dragon psychic types a very very exclusive typing combination and quite frankly one of the better combination of typing in the whole game now these two pokemon has been a part of the meta for generation 3 of course has been, always been relevant as ou or ubers as being one of the very 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 strongest pokemon there is in any meta so with that said it's up to me of course go over their stats abilities and move pool to see which one of these two really is the better one now when it comes to the ability i do believe that is what first we're going to talk about it they both have the same one of course the levitate which grants them immunity in ground type moves but also gives them immunity in spikes and toxic which is a very good ability for these two because they both pack defog so they become superb defog if you so desire so with that said next thing is actually their typing now they're both actually sport dragon psychic which doesn't benefit each other at all actually dragon type means you get a lot of resistances and a few weaknesses psychic does pretty much the same thing they keep every weakness and resistance born to this so to some extent they do necessarily not compare with one another that well but they also relieve each other of a few extra resistances so when it comes to resistance we have resistance is the electric fighting fire grass site and water which are a broad array of resistances what is unfortunate is the weaknesses though uh, because we have weakness in bug dark dragon fairy ghost and ice so at the one point yes we do resist the fault switching but at the same time we do kind of have to stumble with the u-turns and pursuit trapping so it's a double-edged sword where i say that you do get a lot of resistances for yourself at the same time that you really have to be very of certain matchup but quite frankly the matchup has never really been an issue for these two because they do kind of deal with any matchup one whatever they do necessarily face so the typing aren't holding them back at all and this has a lot to do with their stat distribution. Larios is packing the 80, 90, 80, 130, 110, 110 in its stats, while Larios is packing the 80, 80, 90, 110, 130, 110. So straight at it is very easy to see that Larios is the more offensive variant here, being having that 90 and 130 in its offensive stats respectively, while Larios have 80 and 110, but does have more defense, especially 10 defense with 90 and 130 over the 80 and 110 on the Latios. So overall, one can really see that while as stated, Latios is the stronger here offensively, Latias packs defense and being very, very defensively capable. At the same time, they're both offensively really well-rounded and they're both defensively very well-rounded, even though they do change a few stats between one another they still are very very capable of what they do and they can serve each other's role really well the one is stretching out a bit more than the other but at the same time this 110 speed here really does resolve a lot of issues that this possible pokemon could be facing with all these weaknesses primarily because they outspeed the majority of the pokemon that they will be facing with these stabs in mind so overall I, these two pokemon are really 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 well rounded and definitely for sure represents the best the tier and pokemon has to offer in both ou and respectively uu for ladias actually in this generation so with that said we actually have their move to go over and even here they do share between one another quite a lot of stuff. So we're going to mention the relevant stuff. We're also going to mention what they change between one another. So first of all, we're going to mention their TM pool. Because they actually have the same TMs that they do learn. And I do kind of emphasize on what they do learn. to get a grasp of why these two Pokemon are really so cool. First and foremost, they get set up in Call Mind. They have access to Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Energy Ball. Uh, we have the Grass Knot, of course. And Ice Beam, Light Scream, Reflect, Psychic, Psy Shock. Rest, if you want to capitalize on that, Roar, Roost, Shadow Claw, and Shadow Ball. Okay, with Solar Beam, Steel Wing, Surf, Thunder, Thunder Wing, Thunderbolt, and the last mention is, of course, Waterfall. So, a really, really broad array of um, moves there. And at the same time, when it comes to their regular move pools, they actually do differ between one another somewhat there. We're going to go over them one by one, what they do share first, but also what differentiate afterwards between them. 
because this is something that is very rare when two Pokemon is compared is that we're actually going to point out the pinpoint in level ups what they do get and how that defines them and uh, yeah just overall it's a very very strange dialogue to do have but with that said let's talk about what they do get between one another because it does make them quite interesting now first and foremost actually Bogan actually likes a dragon pulse by TM to get with dragon breath outside of that we have the heal pulse and we capitalize on that they both get helping hand and uh, we have of course psychic psycho shift side wave recover refresh safeguard stored power and last and foremost being Sin Headbutt. But outside of that, there are a few moves that are different with one another. It definitely should be stated though that we have a tutor move in Draco Meteor, which all Dragon types get. Definitely should have that out of the way. But as stated, this is something that's really cool with these two Pokemon, is that they both get an array of recovery. You know, of course, recover, uh, we have Ruse, and we we'll capitalize on that, and rest, making these very, very diverse Pokemon. They also both get Defog, which I mentioned before, which makes them serve a role of hazard removals in any team, which with this speedster really does push the border what this Pokemon really can be. So with that said, let's talk about Latios first and its unique pool that it does get. Now Latios already, as I mentioned, has more offensive pool and bond to it, so it's kind of kind of come without saying that it has a more offensive move pool to capitalize on. First and foremost, we have Memento. Memento might not sound all too good, but at the same time, it does kind of open up the opponent a little bit with Memento, you're sacking yourself, of course, and then capitalize on actually switching to something better. And of course, C Memento does actually heal the Pokemon that becomes switched in. We also have Heal Block, which ensures the Pokemon can't recover, but also as a C move, does raise your special attack by two, which could be very dangerous in combination with the likes of stored power. We also have Dragon Dance here, which is a superb setup move for this Pokemon, while Nighting Attack isn't too formidable. Remember the move pulls, it does get a lot of physical move pulls that it can't capitalize on. We also have one unique move to it, and this is a Luster Purge, which in theory is a weaker Psychic. Quite frankly, do not capitalize on that move at all. But it does get it, which is a signature move. And the last move that is unique to Latios is Power Split, which definitely just um, splits your special attack and attack with your opponent to the even match. But overall, one could really say that Latios stands out as a more offensive variant already. Dragon Dance being a unique move for the race, race speed here is a very, very dangerous move to have together with the likes of Heal Block, which definitely can boost your special attack if you don't want to go for your Drake MC, Dracos. So yeah, overall, Lyo stands out as being what it builds to do, which is push holes and sweep teams, and it does that perfectly, even today, four generations later. But Latias is no push over either though, as stated, they do resolve the same kind of things. It definitely should say when it comes to Latias, it does get Healing Wish and Wish. Both move being very, very well-rounded Healing Wish standing out, the more being of course able to actually capitalize on healing the opposing Pokemons with this in mind. We also have Reflect type, which ensures that you actually change your typing to your opponents, which could be very good for possible checks for Latias. One primarily being who meanwhile comes in, you're able to change your typing to, of course, a dark ice type, and that's never good for the poor, poor meanwhile. And this is something that just Latias can capitalize on being defensively very tough to deal with. We also have Charm, which of course nerfs your opponent's attack set stages by two, and it also gets one of those really, really weird, unique moves in Mist Ball, which, as stated as Luster Purge, it's a signature move, just not that usable. And the last move being Guard Split, which actually are able to split your defenses with your opposing Pokemon being able to round up your guard, which is also as interesting as Power Split, but maybe not the primary reason you would use either of these two Pokemon to be able to split your defenses, because quite frankly, looking at these Pokemon stats, there is no reason for changing their stats at all because they're perfect as they are. So what it all boils down to is whether or not you benefit yourself with Latios defensive caliber or if you need your fences as Latios is bringing. And quite frankly, when we talk about league concept, I do believe they're both as desirable. Uh, when it comes to OU, Latios stands out a bit more because C moves is such a big part of the meta right now and that offensive inspiring really just push Latios as a bit sharper than Latias, even though they kind of represent the same type of pool. Latios hits you slightly harder, 
and it really is a benefactor for the Smogon tiers. But overall, I'll definitely say it's a personal preference of which Pokemon between these two you think are the best. Personally, I think due to my league experience that I I like Latias better. I really do, and would definitely say that if it comes to league concept, I say Latias due to its extra efforts and of course being able to be a more defensive Pokemon and serve the default role a lot better would make it actually better than Latios, but this is not what I'm judging. I'm judging overall which Pokemon I think are overall better, and this is probably one of the few times where I definitely think this moment here represents just that why Latios is better than Latias. It has nothing to do with Latias' defenses, it has a lot to do with Latios' offensive prowess, the C moves, and being able to capitalize on C Memento and C Heal Block really does make this Pokemon a lot, lot stronger than Latias really could be. Yes, Latias can defensively check a lot of Pokemon, but it can't defensively check Latios at all. And this is why Latias really has to be deemed the winner here, because it brings so much more to the table this generation than it did actually previous this one, because until generation 6, I definitely would say they'd be on par with one another, but this is no longer the case due to C moves alone, actually. I won't deny the obvious fact, though. Latias is a very, very good Pokemon. They both are. They both are probably one of the best in the game. And while Latios is stronger now due to C moves and can cover the healing wish role somewhat like Latias was doing, Latias does niche have, have a strong niche even in OU. Even though it is UU today, it is still very good in OU. It just doesn't hold as much of a power as uh, Latios really is doing today. With that said, though, I really like both, and I think if I would aim for a tie, this would probably be one of those games that I would do so, or comparable. But yeah, I didn't do that because I definitely think that Latios does pack a punch that Latios simply aren't doing anymore. And uh, as I said, it hasn't been the previous generation, I would definitely say this would be a tie between them. But yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, this is a very tough dialogue to do to have because as I stated, they are representing the best out of third generation and they're still relevant as of today which is really strange consider how many has just free fall since then these these remains the same as being one of the primal force in the ou even till generation 7 i don't know how long this will ongoing but as long as 110 speeder is a thing these pokemon will too so with that said guys thank you of course for all this for watching and I'll see you next video where we're going to look upon these guys.